All right, we're going to do a little Dave's Gone Skiing, but we're going to think of it in 4-4, not in 9-8. Okay, I'll break it down right after this. Okay, Dave's gone skiing in four. So, um, so a song I've been wanting to do for a long time, like years actually, but I, I never really uh, wanted to take the time to learn it. Um, I guess I got a little bit of ADHD, and I just never uh, uh, had the patience to sit down and, and kind of learn it. Um, I, I looked into it a little. I knew it was in 9-8. It had some weird kind of turnarounds. It's just unlike my playing, so it was going to be a difficult uh, learn for me. Um, but uh, I figured, what the heck? I'm not doing anything else, right? So I have this new thing for uh, 2021 where I'm going to go and learn all the songs that over the years I never wanted to take the time to learn because uh, they would take uh, a little bit of time. And, uh, you know, if I can't learn a song in a day, I'm uh, moving on to the next one, pretty much, which uh, is not the right attitude. But uh, anyway, um, so Dave's Gone Skiing's always been a, a fun song and a, and a tough one for me. So it's in 9-8. I find a chart online just to kind of look at it and see what's going on, and it's written in 9-8. But the writing wasn't really good, and it was kind of frustrating, and I don't read 9-8 really good. Um, I don't have a problem with six or, or uh, odd times like seven or uh, 11 or whatever, but for some reason, um, nine has always been a little bit weird for me. So I said, well, I'm going to transcribe it in four, okay? Since it's in nine, it's compound time, and it kind of matches up, and I could make it work in four, no problem, and, um, and it just visually looks better to me on the page. So that's what I did. I basically took the intro and I broke it down to 4-4, four, four, and it's basically four bars of 4-4 four, four with a, a, a bar of 2-4 at the end. Or, if you think about it in 6-4, it's three bars of 6, okay? Um, and then it repeats. And then it goes into, after that initial uh, intro, it goes into uh, that groove that's in 7-8. Um, and then uh, it goes into this double bass thing, and then the solo, and then it repeats. But the main thing is the intro. That was cool to me. Um, so anyway, I'm going to break that down and I'll show you on the, uh, on the screen, I'll show you the, the printout of, uh, of the four, four, so you could look at it. Um, I have a feeling that there's a lot of people that maybe struggle, um, with, uh, with nine, eight, but not so much with four, four, um, at least the, the writing of it. And I was, I was looking at it as a chart. I wasn't just trying to memorize it. I was actually you know, trying to dissect it through the chart. So, so I just uh, rewrote it in four, basically, and it was so much easier. You know, I learned it in a couple days of, of practice. So, um, yeah, I, you know, I probably practiced about a half hour a day, you know, three, four days. Probably end of the week, I, I, I pretty much had it down, which is always a good way to practice little chunks of difficult stuff. And then, uh, you know, you get it slow, and then you break it down, and, and eventually you get it. So the first... The first, um, the measure, the first measure, and, and one thing to remember, when Simon plays this, um, Simon Phillips, he does a lot of improv. If you watch him play it live, 
plays it very different, but he does hit the accents for the most part. But he plays a lot of double bass, and that's the cool part of it. You kind of make it your own as you're playing it. Tempo's at 114 on the song, so um, certainly you don't want to start it at 114. You're going to play it slower than that. Uh, but the main thing are the the accents with the open hi-hat, right? To work around that, there's a lot of ghost notes and things like that. So here it is basically in four, okay? So it's one E and a two and a First two beats. One E and a two and a And then there's three notes on the snare. I've seen people play this different ways. Sometimes they just play two. I just take my hand off and play all three um, on the snare, but you can do it differently. Emmanuel Capilet or Capaletti, uh, however she says her name, um, she plays it different. She has a video. She doesn't break it down, but she plays it different. She she plays it with just the two strokes, which sounds okay too, but I like the extra snare note in there. So anyway, uh, one E and a two and a three E and a four E and a one. That's basically the first part. So again, one E and a two and a three E and a four E and a one. Okay? I'm not sure what that noise was. Electric drums, a little funny sometimes. Okay, that's the first measure. Okay, second measure. Um, one and a two E and a three. Uh, one, uh, one and a two E and three E and a four E and a. Okay, so I'll do it again. I'll start from the beginning. So, uh, one E and So the whole line again, uh, one, two, three, four, that's a little fast um, for, for teaching, uh, one, two, three, four. Okay, so that's the first two measures. One more time. One. And again, you could do that different. Sometimes I pull my hand off the snare drum. I kind of play it differently. Um, so it's it's kind of a guide as long as you hit those uh, those accents. One, two, three. So that's the first two measures. You could look at it there. Then the second, the third measure starts off with uh, kind of this hi hat. A double stroke with the bass drum and then the accent on the cymbal one of the few times uh, that he does that and he doesn't do it on the hi-hat uh, but he does it a lot more again when he loops it so uh, one E and a right one E and a two and a three and a four E and a so that's what it is one E and a two and a three and a four E and a there's that three note pattern again on beat four where he does those three a sixteenth notes so again, um, one E and a two E and a three and a four E and a And all of these accents can be played with your right hand if you just alternate. If you do some different stickings, you do some different fills. I think even when I played it, I did some accents with my left hand. It depends what you play, right, and how your hands are going to play out. So if you play it with your right or left hand, doesn't matter. Okay. Um, so that first line again... Or, I'm sorry, the, the second line, first measure. Okay? S that's, the, that's the second line, first measure. Second measure in the second line. Um, one E and a, one E and a, two, and a, three E and. Okay? One E and a, two, and a, three E and. Okay? And then four and a, one E. Again, you can kind of do it, um, add some things if you want. That that B4, I almost never play that way, the way it's written. But, um, but uh, you know, you can kind of fill it in if you want. So the whole second line, uh, one E. That's how 
it's written. So the first two lines, one, two, three, four. Something is, uh, something is making a bunch of, a bunch of noise for some reason. There's a, there's a hi-hat somewhere. I don't know where it is, but it's, uh, it's the ghost, ghost of the hi-hat. Uh, anyway, see if I could, see if I move these out of the way here. Okay, um, so you're almost done, right? Now all you've got is a 2-4 bar at the end, and that's just, uh, uh, what, so, uh, 1 E and a 2 And that's it. That's Dave's Gone Sting in Four. Now, nothing's changed. It's the exact same song. You heard me play it, even though it's. I'm sure that it's written in nine all the time. Maybe not. Maybe Simon thought of it in four. I don't know. Maybe he thought of it in six, four. You know, you'll never know, I guess, unless somebody asks him. But for the most part, it's thought of as it's in nine. And then, obviously, that rhythm is in seven um, after. Um, but who knows? Maybe that's in four and then in three. And then, you know, you just add it up to seven. So anyway, none of it matters, right? It's just math. As long as it works out that you can play it. Um, and sometimes, since most people are used to thinking in four, especially if they're not playing a lot of odd time stuff, like a lot of my students, um, it's just easier for them to uh, to see things in four, okay? Um, not that we don't work on odd time stuff. So if you want to work on odd time stuff, I'm more than willing to help you. Okay. Um, so that's it. That's the uh, that's the kind of complicated Dave's Gone Skiing intro with those accents. I'll play it a little, and then maybe I'll stretch it out a little and do my own thing. Uh, that's the fun of it. Then you just kind of have a concept, and you play it. Sometimes I get way far off, and then I come back in somewhere. Uh, but that's part of the fun of it, you know. So, um, so there you go. Uh, again, I'll have the sheet up there so you can see it. But... Um, Works out perfectly in four, or like I said, you can uh, you can count. I think it phrases better in six. Uh, now that I look at it that way, uh, which would be the three bars of six. Up to you, however you want to think about it. The beauty of being able to transcribe things is you can kind of do things your own way. And when you know um, when you're able to read and 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 know the note values and change things around, uh, it's really helpful. For, so another reason to learn to read, if you don't know how already. All right, so one more time. Uh, let's see, I'm going to put the tempo on here. So this is going to be 114 like the song, okay? One, two, three. There you go. So um, have fun with it. Uh, let's see. I tried to play it on the ride once just for fun or whatever. Once you get used to doing the hi-hat, it's, it's kind of hard. But, um, but you can stretch out a little, do your own thing. Like I said, you can watch some live versions of how Toto does it with Simon. And it's all over the map. I mean, they do it a lot of different ways. Um, intros, they mix it with other songs. He, he does a lot of double bass stuff even in this part sometimes so you can have a lot of a lot of fun with it um, I haven't done that much but uh, you get the melody in your head you can kind of mess around let's see uh, I'll probably screw it up but that's part of the fun too uh,
So have fun with it. Do your own thing. Kind of memorize the melody, and then you kind of take it to where you want to go. Um, so you're always kind of looping that anyway and coming back around um, and make it kind of a four-bar phrase with a half a measure at the end, but two beats. Or if you think about it in six, just the three measures. So there it is. Dave's Gone Skiing broken down, not in nine, but in four, which is a lot easier, I think, for many students to think about. So have fun. Practice it. Great song. After that, there's a part in 7-8, super easy. That's not a big deal. Then there's a double bass thing that he does, also very easy. The hardest part of the song is this intro. And other than that, he's got some really nice fills that lead into the 7-8 part um, that come out of some of the solo parts. That could be a whole nother um, lesson sometimes, some really nice fills. Maybe we'll do that, just the fill parts, because there's some really... Simon always has great fills, but... Um, so anyway, there you go. Have fun with it. Um, doing another one, a Vinnie Kaliuta one. That'll be coming up. Uh, an old Tom Scott song. I've always loved it. And always wanted to break it down. That one is in 6-8 or 6-4, however you want to think about it. Um, and uh, I think that one's called Get a Grip. There's a middle section. Super cool. Always wanted to learn it. So I'm going to do that one next. Vinnie's got some so... Cool. Again, a lot of open hi-hat stuff, really tasty stuff, really just super, super cool. So that one's coming up, and then I'm gonna, I'm doing another thing, probably the next one, a surprise. Um, one of my favorite things I've ever learned, uh, so I'm going to do that one for the, the students. Um, someone asked me what was one of the best things you've ever learned throughout all of your years, and I had to think about it. Obviously, there's several things. But this one thing I think has made more of a difference in my playing than any other thing. And um, so I'm going to break that down, although it's a little hard um, to, 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 to get down. But once you get it down, it, it's, it's not so hard. But it, like everything else, it's new, it's different. But you kind of have to think a different way. And um, it's involving the Ted Reed book, the greatest drum book of all time. If you don't believe me, you will after the video. So... Um, at any rate, there you go. Dave's going skiing. skiing. Have fun. Great song. And uh, practice, practice, practice. And um, we'll see you next time.